quite a few prominent uh, people in the boxing world reacts to Javante Tank Davis going life and death and two for nil with a 39-year-old Yorkers Gamboa who could have possibly torn or blown out his Achilles in the beginning of the fight. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And I've seen stuff from Terrence Crawford, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Tevin Farmer, and Ishe Smith with the words of um, advice for um, Javante Tank Davis. And he loved Tank, man. And he said he's seen Tank do a lot of great things in the gym. But if you remember, Javante Tank Davis said he's going to stop Gamboa quicker than Crawford did. So now he could be named pound for pound, uh, one of the best fighters in the world. And it backfired on him. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford fought Yorkers Gamboa back in 2009. You know, I mean, 2014, excuse me. That's five years ago. You know, now Gamboa's 38 years old. But Crawford message to um, Javante Tank Davis to stay away from Lomachenko and Devin Haney. I don't know if he knew that T.O. had a Twitter or not. That's another name that came up that a lot of people think is better than Tank after tonight's performance. And could it, could it be an overreaction? Yeah, obviously he probably didn't train hard, but every fight you got to train hard. As Floyd Mayweather, ever, every fight he trained like it was his last, and he trained like he was poor, but he right. At this point, you know, this is the point that I'm converting into a believer that he can't really mess with T.O., Lomachenko, or Devin Haney. You know, I'm staying too long, rangy guys that's all disciplined, that all stay in shape. Um, and Tank tried to make weight himself. People don't know that. You know, he didn't hire a nutritionist. He got all these chains around his neck. He pulling up in whatever that was, a Ferrari, Lamborghini. Excuse my broke my broke taste. I never had one of them cars. But he pulled up in all that. But then you don't want to spend money on a nutrition or a physical conditioning coach who's to help you get in, what, and get in shape. Here come Devin Haney. Haney and Davis in 2020, he must have popped his shoulder back in place. He had shoulder surgery, and he is champion of recess. And Haney and Luke Campbell fight for the belt, but that's a fight he wanted. Um, said that he dogged that Tank and, and sparring. Uh, Tank team insinuated that Tank dropped Devin Haney in sparring and uh, hurt him. So, you know, a lot of people smell blood in the water. Tank is this big star. Remember, Leonard Ellaby was building him to be like the cash cow down there at 35, 30, and 26. And now you understand why he didn't want to fight Gary Russell. Now you understand why they moved him up slow. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they totally, everybody totally right. Go after him. He the cash cow. He looking like the easy lick out there. You know? And for him, he he should be happy this happened to him versus Gamboa. You know? Use this to train harder. Go on vacation for a minute. Enjoy the holidays for a minute. Train harder and come back bigger, stronger, faster. But this is one of my favorite ones. Tevin Farmer, that boy can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people was agreeing to it. After a lot of people thought Tank could stop him in a few rounds, Tevin Farmer's another guy that's in shape, uh, dedicated, you know what, and punctual on, you know, coming to training camp and doing things he need to do. So after that performance, he supposed to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, unless he move back up to light, lightweight um, or Tank move back down to 126 featherweight or super featherweight, I don't see that. Or 130, excuse me. I don't see that fight happening. You know, they, you know, the zone out for seven million dollars, five to seven million dollars for Tank to come over there. He didn't. Then now you see why. I remember Javon. I remember Leonard or Floyd saying, "Now they feel that Tank is ready to fight Tevin Farmer." I'm thinking in my mind, I feel that he can beat Tevin Farmer right now. But like I said before, when you see guys being moved as subtle and slow as Tank Davis, that means there's a weakness there. And I think Tank' biggest weakness is staying dedicated. Ryan Garcia. Garcia versus Haney, Garcia versus Davis. He said, we all need to get in that ring for boxing. You know what I'm saying? And I think Ryan Garcia would be the easiest of the fights out of all of them. But the kid got speed. The kid got power. He just a little bit too reckless. He too he too uh, predicated on speed. He not predicated on doing it the right way. He more quantity over quality. You know, speed over everything. And that's going to be his biggest downfall. When he get in there with somebody knowing all the bob and weave and hit back, he the weakest of the bunch. I don't care what people say. They can talk about Tank and Gamboa, but this dude fighting for Se for Seiko, for Cisco for Seiko next. That's somebody that 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 uh I think Tevin M again Tank already beat. So he a little bit behind the class, but I still take Tank over him. I think Tank still could beat Tevin Farmer too, man. If he dedicated, but if he come up in like he did tonight, he gonna have a lot of problems in there, man. With guys, because Gamboa 
the reason he didn't have a lot of muscle in his punches towards the uh the injury point because he because he was uh uh he blew his Achilles out. But Ishe Smith said, "Love the kid, but he needs to make major changes if he wants to last in the game." Should have happened six rounds ago. Basically, he talking about major changes. He's not talking about Calvin Ford. He's talking about training camp. Get you a physical strength and conditioning coach. You know what I'm saying? Get you a nutritionist. Take the game serious. Stop partying with Instagram models and partying with shot girls and partying, man. Be dedicated to your craft, man. Boxing is a 24-7 job. Now, if you fight once, twice, three times a year, it's hard to stay dedicated in between the fights. But you got to. This is how you're going to eat. This is how you're going to retire. This is how you're going to... You know, build your wealth empire. This your foundation to go out there and invest money and have your money make money for you. And he got to realize that this ain't no game. You don't hit the reset button and play it again. <laughs> Once you lose, you lose. Once you had your shot, you had your shot. You know what I'm saying? And for and for Ishe Smith, he right. This dude need to make a lot of changes. He need to get focused. You know, he 25, about to be 26 next year. Just turned 25 this year. It's time for him to turn that corner. But it's consensus that a lot of people think Tank overrated and got exposed. And what happened was he just stepped up to a guy that, that was that was hard hitted and bull hitted on going twelve. No matter if it was his Achilles, no matter if he lost an arm, he he was there to prove a point. But you know, if Tank Tank if Tank look at it like, um, you know, I ain't do nothing wrong, you know, fuck them, I'm a I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, then he gonna lose pretty soon. If you look at it as you know what. I ain't Superman. I just can't half-ass train. Let me get a strong team around me. Strength and conditioning coach, nutritionist. Stop investing in all this jewelry and all these cars and invest in myself and eventually you unlock and get those things. Then he's going to last in the sport. But one thing that, that hurt Tank the most, other than, his, than, sh- than half-assing tonight, is the fact that, you know, uh, his mouth. You know, from overstepping his boundaries with Tevin to overstepping his boundaries with Devin, to overstepping his boundaries with Ryan, to overstepping his, his boundaries with Terrence, with with De, uh, Deontay Wilder, everybody he didn't have words with. And when you go in there with a 39 year old uh, Cuban fighter and Jurgis Gamboa, who better who best years behind them, and you comparing you to Crawford, you and you go longer than Crawford went, and he like 38 years old, he was 33 or 32 when Crawford fought him. How he supposed to feel? You know, when you go on here calling Deontay Wilder a time girl, he felt like a time girl. How he supposed to feel? When you out here blasting Tevin Farmer, you struggling with 30, 38-year-old Yorkers Gamboa. How he supposed to feel? You out here, you know, Teofimo Lopez, daddy calling you out, saying you weak and you soft, and you proving him to be right. How he supposed to feel? Loma Tanko over here taking jabs at you. You ain't responding. But when it comes to Devin Haney, Shakir Stevenson, Ryan Garcia, you got something to say? You look real weak right now. And he at the point where... He at the point where he going to level up, you know what I'm saying? Or he at the point where, you know, he going to just fall into the trap and, you know, somebody going to get in there and two piece him up and that's going to be Mayweather promotions. You know, he supposed to be the face of Mayweather promotions as far as the stable, the stable mates. And, uh, you know, right now, shit, they might, they might have to do a better job of moving Richardson Hitson a little bit faster. I'm tired of seeing him standing next to Tank and sitting next to Floyd it's time for him to get up there. I'm pretty sure that kid hungry. He always look in shape. He don't look fat and blown up. He's still hungry because he ain't got a taste of it. So that might end up being their best prospect. You know, and they giving all the shine to Tank and they pushing Tank all hard, but Tank ain't fighting nobody. And Tank going out here already at 25 years old and the level of competition, he's taking it for granted. You know, this is what I love about the boxing fraternity, man. These dudes is always going to hold you accountable. They can say, Oh, YouTube dudes never did this, they never did that. You know what they're talking about? The writers never did this, never did that. But Terrence Crawford, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Tevin Farmer, Ishe Smith, they they your fraternity. They hit the bags. They've been in camps. A lot of them dudes been world champions, will be world champions. And they trying to tell you that you're going down the wrong, the wrong side. You struggle with a dude with one Achilles tonight for the majority of the fight. So, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love and support. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's description. Best way to donate is share share the video. And let me know what you guys think about the reactions from Crawford, Haney, Garcia, Farmer, and Ishe Smith. You know? And uh, let me know what you thought about the fight, man. And Gamble and Tank. You think Tank is exposed or you think Tank could get better 
He had better nights. I think it'd be the latter. He get better, had better nights. One time.